all right all right what's going on everyone aaron here clean cuts lawn care it is friday morning um we scrapped the whole week all right it, it rained from last wednesday or i'm sorry last thursday night all the way till this this uh wednesday evening so pretty much an entire week it rained i could have went out and mowed today but it, it's super wet um you know, I mean, it's, it's really wet. You can see right here on this grass. I mean, it's, it's wet. I've seen a few companies out mowing. I went to the car wash just now to wash off Truck 51. <laughs> There's uh, one company, they're right down here. You can't see them. They're at that intersection and then a couple houses down here. Um, they're, they're mowing. They're not bagging because it's a pretty big yard and it is a complete, complete disaster because of how wet it is. Not, I'm not saying them, I'm, you know, there's grass everywhere. And you can see where the guy finished like in the backyard and came out to the front, just huge, you know, mounds of grass that fell off the deck and the wheels. <clears throat> so I don't think I made the wrong decision here. And like I said, if we, let's say I would have mowed today yeah, Robbie could have worked tomorrow as well, but then Sunday he can't. Vicky's been busting her ass at work, so I don't want her to have to help me out on Sunday. We wouldn't have gotten everything done anyway, and on top of it, we would have maneuvered the mowing routes to, to be where they're way off. So I'm pretty sure I made the right decision um, on choosing not to mow. Uh, I, yes, I just went and got a car wash. I'm going to show you something I messed up uh, a few weeks ago. How, I, I, a few weeks ago, I, I did some things to the truck. If you remember, right here on both sides, all the rust had gotten this wheel well, right? It was bad. The hole was up here. So I got metal aluminum. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, roofing aluminum. And I shaped it, cut it. Um, I painted it this believe it or not this is this color but it won't show or take as well on here and if I would have primed it like say with a black then it, it wouldn't have came through this color at all but I don't really care about that um, I'm just happy it's covered and then I just drilled holes and used the universal plug kit to uh, attach everything I put sealer um, on the top to try to avoid some water coming down in there. I put Bondo in a few spots that were real bad, like here. I haven't had time to grind this down and paint it, but I will. Um, here's a spot where I put Bondo, grinded it down, painted it. Right here, Bondo, grinded it down, painted it, and I still have to grind that down and paint it. And then here's the other wheel well cover. You've probably seen it on a video or so um, that I put out that that you could see the side of the truck. Also, I had a big hole right here on the floor. So I took more, I, like three sheets of that aluminum and I cut it out. I tore up the mat, filled the hole in, and then I used um, spray foam and did the perimeter, perimeter of it. And it, also this was broke, it was always moving. So, but, so I had to move, lift this up and spray foam inside of here to kind of seal off that metal, which is good because now that holds in place. And it completely um, sealed off that hole from the bottom. So that was good because it was pretty annoying in the wintertime. <clears throat> also, what I did, and here's where I messed up. I, um, I wanted to put our name and phone numbers on the doors. I used to have magnets, but they got ruined over the years. Um... They were nice magnets too. But I said, you know what? I'm just going to do my own. So the company who used to own this truck, you could still see a little bit of um, their name and stuff. So I painted both doors, right? And then I went and got poster board and letters and I made my own stencil and it looked great. I cut everything out with one of those carving tools and um just to make the stencil it took me three or three and a half hours it was pretty rough actually you know because you're cutting every single little line out and um but i made it it looked really good and i wanted to use black paint because i i i figured a, a high gloss 
black paint would bounce off of the blue and just look good, you know, as opposed to using white. Problem is, once you use that stencil one time because of the paint on the poster board, it's over. You're not using that stencil again. So I went ahead and tried the black. You know, I put it on right where it should go. I taped it down. And then I would, you know, I moved my hand across the board to keep everything nice and tight when I painted it. And at first it looked beautiful. It popped out just the way I thought or wanted it to. Now, you know, after it dried and it sat for a week, if you can see it, this is it. So, ah, man. Problem is, uh, again, that stencil, I, I don't have it no more because you can only use it once. If I use like a white acrylic paint and I try to do it by hand, I don't know how the paint's going to look. Here's this side. Like, right now I can see it, okay? And, and I can... It's not correct. I mean, I can see it, yes, but not, you know, the way you want to see it. If I try to paint this by hand, it's not going to look as clean, you know? So my options are to get a white paint with a small little brush and try to paint it that way, which I'm probably going to at least try. The other option is to get more paint of this color, repaint the doors a couple times, remake my stencil, and then start over which man that sucks that stencil took me three friggin hours to make um so real quick i've mentioned in a few videos how we're switching our billing practices for mowing just like we did for um snow we did it last year instead of per uh snow event we went, just charged for the whole year. Well, for mowing, we're switching to charging by the month. No more per mow. Yes, we plan on making a visit every week, but when we get to the summer where the lawns go dormant, or if we have a week like this week where it rains every single day and we can't make it, so be it. You know, um, I, I've gotten some comments about it. I think the one honestly every comment i got was like yep that's exactly what you should do that's what we do uh one fella said he switched over five years ago and he would never go back he said I, man i should i can't pull the comment up right now to read it um <clears throat> yeah he said he switched five years ago um you look mowing I anticipate we're going to have seven months or 28 weeks of mowing, okay? And it's going to fluctuate, you know. Yeah, you have your spring cleanups, landscape jobs, fall cleanups, snow removal. So we do work all year round. But in that amount of time that you're mowing, that's really your only focus, okay? Because you're mowing every day of the week normally, with an exception to maybe one day. But then you're doing maintenance. You're fixing everything that broke throughout the week. So, during the mowing months, that's your, really what you're focused on. You have to be able to make as much money as possible. Now, the way I look at it is, for the customer, okay? Yeah, maybe there's some customers that's not going to like it, but that money that you're paying for the month, you would pay it anyway... For them four mows the only difference is it has a dedicated due date which is the first of the month if there's weeks that we're not mowing because the lawn didn't grow uh i'm still going to do curb appeal service as i have been doing all this year i think we did we might have did some last year i'm not i'm not 100 certain but we we've done curb appeal you know this year i think on two two or three different occasions the customers loved it we're still planning on doing that However, let's say it's a situation where there's a week where, you know, the lawns are dormant or whatever the case is. If I have a bunch of stuff to do at the shop to keep the equipment running that mows their lawns, 
I'm not going to feel guilty about using that time to work at the shop, uh, fix equipment, whatever needs to be done, and, there, and still be charging them for the month if the lawn does not need to be cut. There would never be an excuse during a regular um, time where, you know, the lawn does need to be mowed. <clears throat> because in that case, now you're just ripping people off. Um, but, you know, in order to run a business successfully, a business like this, you need to generate and almost guarantee a certain amount of income into the business. Whether you have people to pay or not, you have other bills. You have your shop space you have to pay, equipment maintenance. You're constantly buying something to fix uh, the mowers or to make something better. Uh, you know, you're paying dump fees. At, uh, where we dump, they have a program where if you dump there a certain amount of times in the previous year, they will offer you an account. For, I don't know what it is, like 800 bucks, and it covers you for the entire year. Every single year, we get so close to hitting that, but we're a few shy. Like, I mean, last year, we were two dumps shy. But I don't keep track of how many times we go throughout the year. It's not until like the end of the year when I'm adding up the receipts and whatnot do I know how many times we went. Um, but that would be great to have something like that. But yeah, I mean, you, you, you have to know I have this much income coming in this year. At, at least a rough estimate of it. That way you know, you know what you can do, how you can grow. Um, if you need another truck or another mower, um, in order to operate your business, these are things you need. In order to get those things you need, you have to have money. A week like, like right now, this week we lost thousands of dollars. Okay, gross, gross. Not, um, not all of it profit, but we gross lost thousands of dollars. Can't have that. Now this is a whole week out of those 28 or so weeks where nothing came in other than that one small job I did. I didn't do that job to make money. Um, it, you know, there wasn't much there, but you can't have it. So, um, you know, typically we can't start mowing until about April 10th, April 15th. I'm gonna be starting April 1st this year, this coming year. Even though we're not gonna be mowing, uh, we are gonna be making visits to all the properties. We're gonna start cleaning up some leaves or debris or uh, maybe the edges need cut out, you know, uh, to get us going, whatever it is. We are gonna be making those appearances, doing that work from the first week of April. That way, May 1st, that first bill is due. And then you have what? So you have May, June, July, August, September, October, November, seven full months because we're gonna run that billing all the way through November 1st. And then if by some coincidence we're able to keep mowing, we'll figure it out from there. But typically, you know, by uh, late October, you're wrapping it up, you're going into fall cleanup. And then we will go into fall cleanup. <clears throat> and then fall cleanups, we go into snow removal, <clears throat> which my ultimate goal, which is the reason I'm making this video, my ultimate goal is to have all of our customers multi-service customers where we are visiting their property from the first week of april through the last week of november so in between so for the whole month of november we're coming there we're cleaning up leaves we're doing you know whatever needs to be done to keep the property up and what they pay for the month will always be the same. And then we go into snow removal. Um, and we just continue on. So basically for 12 months of the year, I wanna have that customer paying us the same amount, all 12 months. That way it never stops and they get all the services that are needed. Now that's a system I have to put together. I have to run all the numbers. I have to figure out exactly what they're gonna be paying, what it's gonna cost us. But I think it is possible to do it. 
Now there's some things, okay, what about the customers who don't want snow removal or who um, you know, don't do fall cleanups? Well, I'm gonna have to start recycling those customers out with other customers who are getting all of that. Year round customers is my goal with year round payments on the first of every single month. That is the goal. Well, like I said, is you know, I, I have to figure it all out. I have to um, run all the numbers and, you know, kind of go from there. Now, of course, I'm not gonna be letting go of a bunch of customers without having the correct customers to replace them with, but um, eventually I will. So, yeah, just wanted to show you guys this uh, with what I do with the truck. You can make fun of it if you want, I don't care. It's mine, I love it. I'm happy I got it all done. And that's that. So, all right guys, I'm heading home. Vicky's taking a half day. Um, we're gonna hang out and enjoy the weekend. And then uh, Monday, I'm going, normally Monday is my day to sharpen all the blades, do maintenance, get everything ready. Um, I'm gonna be utilizing this monday for mowing uh because i know it's going to be a shit show this week every single lawn is going to have to be bagged uh just like last week so multiple trips to the dump um but i don't care it, it is what it is and um i'll just be happy to get another full weekend it's going to warm up back into the 70s the grass should be dry-ish um for for mowing not dry but dryish and i'll be happy about that so all right guys if you liked the video hit like subscribe to the channel leave a comment down below let me know everything i'm doing wrong and keep the measures clean boys i'm out